Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? Uh, wrap up my 50 and 50, and I'll get right to it. <clears throat> um, one of the most valuable lessons that I ever learned was uh, as a teenager, I got my first job uh, because I stole a car and wrecked it. Uh, and I was too young to enter the workforce, so I had to go to work for my stepdad's construction company uh, to help pay back the uh, car that I wrecked. But anyway, in this process, I did some more learning. And like I said, one of the most valuable lessons I ever learned was from my stepdad. Uh, he owned a roofing construction company. I did a lot of roofing. So, uh, and this was before the uh, conveyor belt loaded the, <laughs> loaded the roofs with shingles. And um, so yeah, I, I had to carry shingles up a ladder and, and things like that. But anyway, one of, the, one of the lessons my stepdad taught me was um, as his helper to earn my money, uh, basically I had to watch him observe and then help him and his advice and his, uh, the lesson I learned was to stay one step ahead of him. So I was to be paying attention, for instance, uh, make sure his, the air hose on the nail gun didn't get hung up on something, uh, to make sure he had nails, uh, to make sure he had, uh, make sure his tool belt had nails in it. Uh, to make sure there were shingles out in front of him. Uh, the packages were opened up and ready for him, that there were shingles from the ground to the roof, all these sort of things, to be prepared. Um, how much better, uh, more effective, and more efficient you can be whenever you're prepared for the task. Uh, so he, he tasked me with the job of, of um, staying one step ahead of him and learning and observing and watching. Um, and I often, I often learned uh, in life that, uh, and I've heard this, since then, but uh, people fail at their highest level of preparation. And, and I've learned that to be true. Um, whenever I took on a task, it didn't matter what it was, it didn't matter if it was uh, working on my car or in a relationship or in a business partnership or anything like that, um, I failed at my highest level of preparation. Uh, once I got in a situation where I exceeded my preparation, uh, that was it. That's where the road stopped. I couldn't go any further because I wasn't prepared. Um, so I, 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 I give you that to, to tell you this, that, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow's election day, 2020. And, um, it appears, um, if you are just, you know, as a casual observer paying attention that there is one candidate that is, in over their head, uh, extremely, um, you know, to a great degree in over their head. Um, so this election that we're going to see tomorrow could be, could be, you know, I, I can't predict the future, but it could be something like we've never seen before. And, um, there's a large group of people that haven't prepared for that outcome. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't think a whole lot of people really do know, but, um, there's a, there's a large, large group of people that haven't prepared themselves. Um, they're not one step ahead of what's about to happen. And it's going to come as a shock and a surprise to a lot of people. Um, you know, and maybe, maybe not that many people, uh, maybe people see the writing on the wall. Maybe, maybe people sort of know what their subconscious. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, something big, uh, is likely to happen tomorrow. And a lot of people are going to be, um, a lot of people are going to fall on their face and a lot of people are, are very unprepared for, for the outcome of this election. And, um, where does that lead? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, I, I hope and I pray that it's, it's, um, that people are going to be safe and smart and, um, not do anything dangerous or violent or drastic. Um, but I also understand that the, that most people aren't prepared for failure either. Most people aren't prepared for a loss. Uh, they can't admit when they're wrong. They can't, um, you know, they can't deal with the facts of reality, you know? So I don't know, I guess that's just my two cents, but um, I feel like there's a lot of people that are, um, 
going to see circumstances tomorrow and in the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks that are beyond their imagination and beyond their level of preparation. And they're not going to know how to conduct themselves. Um, so uh, hopefully this is a peaceful election um, and, and people are, like I said, smart and safe and intelligent with their actions and their behavior because everything has repercussions. Everything has consequences. And I'd like to see uh, humankind and mankind do the right thing and be smart. And um, yeah, I just feel like there's something brewing here for people that um, didn't mentally prepare for both scenarios. Uh, Cause I think there's I think there there's a large group of people, most people that understand that there's a possibility that either candidate can win. Um, but I think there's a, there's a portion of people that haven't accepted that reality and, and, and ex tearing off the bandit and exposing that wound could be, um, could end badly. And that, that's a sad, sad thing. So, um, we've already seen a pretty significant loss of life this year. Um, but yeah, let's hope, let's hope everybody's smart and intelligent. And like I said, let's, uh, you know, pray for the best and plan for the worst. And like I said, those of you that plan for the worst, I, I hope that the, you're able to reach out and offer a helping hand for folks that weren't prepared for what's about to happen. Uh, cause like I said, people fail at their highest level of preparation. There are a lot of people that aren't prepared for tomorrow and the days and weeks that follow. So, um, just remember at the end of the day, this is not a red and blue thing. This is a, not a red, white and blue thing. This is a humankind and a mankind thing. So let's be intelligent. Let's be smart and, uh, let's communicate and find answers together. I think that's really the only way, uh, we're not enemies in this. Uh, we're all looking for, uh, we're all looking for answers here. So, um, this video is plenty long and I'll cut it off, but, uh, like I said, just, Pray for the best and plan for the worst and be safe and be smart and take care of your fellow man uh, because we all have to answer. We all have to answer to somebody someday. And I hope that's not tomorrow for anybody, but we all have to answer to somebody someday. We all have to atone for our sins. So uh, may God bless you and I hope, I hope tomorrow's a peaceful, peaceful day. And, uh, Wish everybody the best. All right, take care.